Hello everyone. Welcome to the lecture series on PLC programming. In today's video, I am going to explain the concept of on delay timer. At the first place, let us look at the symbol of on delay timer. This is the symbol of on delay timer. If you carefully observe, the box has several different parameters such as timer, time base, reset, and accumulated. Before understanding the working of on delay timer, we need to first understand what are these parameters and how do we set these and once that is understood we will be able to understand the concept of on delay timer en stands for enable dn stands for done bit and these are also equally important in order to understand the working of on delay timer now let us go case by case starting off from timer what is timer so timer over here will indicate the timer number and timer file if you carefully observe, I've used T40 over here, and that is why I've chosen that over here as well. To T4 stands for the file number, and colon zero stands for the timer number. Now the question is, why do we need them? If you carefully observe, in a PLC there will be multiple number of files that are there. For example, T5 can be used for counter, T3 can be used for a different purpose, and T4 is chosen to be used for timer. When we are choosing 4, that means the PLC will understand that we are actually utilizing a timer in that particular PLC. But why do we need timer number? Now let us consider an example where we have 100 timers in a specific program. And all of these 100 timers will have unique address. And in order to identify them uniquely, we need to have timer number. Over here, I am starting off with 0. I hope this concept is clear. Now what is preset value before going into time base let us look at preset value now preset value is basically the actual time delay that we want and it is in seconds for example if we want a time delay of 15 seconds we will be setting the preset value as 15 and that indicates that we are actually utilizing the timer to operate for 15 seconds delay then what is time base then time base actually multiplies the time in seconds for example, if we need 60 seconds delay and we have time base of 4 and preset value of 15 seconds, time base will actually multiply its value with the preset value in order to give the desired time seconds. For example, in this case, we wanted 60 seconds delay and rather than having the preset value of 60, we can directly do it as 15 into 4 and that will give us 60 seconds. But wait, why do we need this? So, to be very precise, there are certain PLCs which will be able to only count 32,767 values depending upon the number of bits that the PLC is designed to operate. And if you want to operate that for beyond that value, so 32,767 into the time base value, we can get more number of time and the duration of the time period will be much higher. And that is why time base plays a very important role. So the nature of this totally depends upon your application. If you're counting for very small values, you don't have to set the value of time base. Now the next question, what is accumulated value then? It basically keeps counting the time values and indicates the overall count. For example, if you're setting the preset value to 15, for us to see, we need to visually be able to see what is the actual time, isn't it? And that is given by accumulated value. It keeps counting the value from zero and tells us what is the actual value at this moment of time so that you can actually see that. So this is all about the basic terminologies that are associated with on delay timer. Having said that, now how does an on delay timer work? So the working of on delay timer is pretty simple and straightforward. Let us consider a typical example. Now, if you carefully observe, I am having a lighting load over here and I'm using the same address of this on delay timer and the address is chosen to be equal to the done bit. So the concept of enable and done bit is very, very important here and I'll be explaining it clearly. Now, I want to light this load using an input and using a timer. The reason why I need this timer is, for example, once I press this input, I need 5 seconds delay and then the light should turn on after 5 seconds. Then I obviously need a timer. So the timer has to count for 5 seconds. After 5 seconds, this light should be turned on. If you are having an input directly connected to the lighting load without timer, we will not have any time delay. But now if we want a specific delay in the operation of this type of circuit, then we need specific types of timers. 
now how does this operate it gives 5 seconds delay but how do we understand how it gives 5, 5 seconds delay now i'll be pressing the input in this particular fashion basically the push button switch and the run gets energized and it is indicated in green consequently current starts flowing in this path and the timer is energized at this point in time once the timer is energized immediately the enable will become high in this particular fashion so the enable goes high once the input is pressed everything happens in fraction of micro or nanoseconds and you will not be even able to see these process going so slowly i am just indicating it in that particular fashion but once you press this push button switch the enable goes high instantly point to remember so the enable goes high instantly once the input is pressed or when the timer is energized but when does that done bit go high so now the timer actually counts 2 3 4 5 seconds and after 5 seconds the done bit goes high so actually after the time count that is required or the desired time count is achieved the done bit goes high and once this goes high the same address is over used over here as well and this also goes high and consequently the current flows through the load and the light starts glowing in this particular fashion so what are we able to achieve in this the light turns on only after five seconds that is done with the help of done bit if you are using enable bit address over here instead of done bit over here then what happens once you press the input or push button switch the light will turn on that means there is no use of on delay timer in that case isn't it so that is why done bit plays a very very important role just to summarize it up once you press the push button switch the enable will be high but the done bit takes time that is the required time delay that is set and once the time delay is counted the done bit goes high and i'm using the same address of the done bit t40 is the address that is chosen and dn is basically the done bit i am actually using so this is based on the concept of latching in case you have not watched that video please do watch it because that will give you a fair amount of understanding as how we actually choose the same address in this particular contact as well having said that now we need to understand the timing diagram timing diagram is very very important and it is simple and straightforward now initially i assumed the input to be low and i pressed the push button switch and it became high so i am assuming the time delay to be equal to 5 seconds the enable bit just follows the input isn't it the enable bit became high once the input was energized and consequently it remained high and that is why in any timing diagram which has an on delay timer the enable bit should just follow the input bit so you will be having the same waveform as that of the input this is one more important point now how does the accumulated bit value vary so it starts off it was initially zero and then it starts in this particular fashion counts 1 seconds, 2 seconds, 3 seconds, 4 seconds, 5 seconds and it increases its value step by step and once the desired time count is reached it will go to the high state. You can neglect this spike it will be high at this point in time. Now what is the variation of done bit? If you carefully observe the done bit was low until and unless 5 seconds was counted. So only after 5 seconds the done bit went high. So that means this waveform looks exactly almost opposite to that of the enable bit. Enable bit started and became high once the input was high whereas done bit still remained low and counted the time value and once the accumulated value is equal to the time set then consequently the done bit became high. So this is the operation of on delay timer and this is how it works. I hope you were able to understand the concept in the simplest possible way. In case you have any questions, feel free to reach out by typing in your questions in the comment section below. If you like this video, please do like it, share it and subscribe to our channel for regular updates. Thanks for watching this video. Meet you guys in another video. Thank you.